this is a song about this little trailer that I found up near Minden. And it was about 10 miles from my childhood's parents' cottage um, up on Bob Lake. And so it was, and I was sort of, I go through phases where I sort of want to get away from everything that's in my life, even good and bad. I just want to get away from it all. And the, so, the frenetic nature of your farm? Well, it, it gets the pressure. <laughs> Oof. Oof. But as we all know, like, you could be standing in the Grand Can Canyon, and if your brain ain't right, well, then you don't appreciate anything. And so, um, I found this trailer, and it just is, you know, those times in your life where it's just perfect. You know, it, it was on a, a 45 acre lake pond filled with water lilies with the blossoms and, and turtles and herons and bears. I, you know, it was just an amazing place. And, and, and all the outcropping of rock from the Canadian Shield. And uh, so, uh, it was a great place to write songs too. And I was just sitting out on, there was this swing, this old swing, like bench swing, old and rusty, nice one. And I was sitting out there and I, it was, it was just describing the day that was in front of me, you know? And, and the, the thing about Julie's painting, that's Julie Fader, who is Francis's mother. So it was connected songs. It's not really about Julie at all. She had just had an art show the previous week. And, you know, I was just sort of sitting there on this swing taking in the afternoon. And it was June. And I think I might have said June is painting. And then Julie just came into my head. And so that just became a nice little reference. Just a nice little, you know, a little love love letter to a friend and and it was you know there's sometimes when songwriting is sort of uh, the serendipitous nature of it the collision of coincidences and and how everything sort of starts feeding the song and so i went inside and i picked up this book and it, it was that nursery rhyme that's the the second verse and it just fit in perfectly. And so, you know, the, the, I, I don't know if people often talk about the great giddiness that comes with writing songs sometimes. Because you're just sort of, you're just so excited that things are just sort of dovetailing in a certain way. And, you know, I think we love to experience that, you know, when, when all the parts of the song are just sort of like coming together and working. You know, that's, I think for a songwriter, that's a very uh, meaningful uh, moment. And it, it truly, one of the few times in my life when I'm grateful. <laughs> that's a joke, that's a little joke, very grateful. Man. But just that is an extreme example of when you're just going humbly grateful that these things are working out. <laughs> 